Hi, I'm Daniel and this is Asheville. And today I'm gonna to tell you why I sponsor a football club. I'm Daniel Ashville Louisi. I'm the founder and managing director of the Asheville Group of Companies and proud front of shirt sponsor of Queen's Park Rangers Football Club. But why would a construction, waste management, aggregates, and ready mix concrete company sponsor a football club? In this video, I'm gonna tell you how we got into sponsoring. The pros, the cons, I'm gonna show you the stadium, a game, how the kit was made, and why exactly we sponsor Queen's Park Rangers. QPR is a local club, close to where I grew up, so it has some sentimental value. A lot of families in the local area come and support this club, and they have done for many generations. The relationship that I've built up over the years with the people at QPR, they're very easy to work with, and they reciprocate business. It's a club where I can make a difference. If this was a Premier League club, the small amount of money that we can offer, it wouldn't make any difference whatsoever to the club. But here at QPR, we are valued, and we value QPR. QPR are a club which are always giving back. They allow me to also take part and do our bit. You'll see this in a video that we did at Christmas time where we were giving out gifts in the local area. I needed a corporate entertaining area and QPR allowed us to have a box here but actually refurbish the box so it'd be custom Asheville just the way I like it. When I was young in the 80s because I'm an 80s baby I remember the front of football jerseys like Arsenal with JVC, Everton with NEC, Liverpool, Crown Paints and Candy. These brands have been forged in my brain forevermore and I didn't actually know what they did. So QPR being a local club in the local area with local support, I fought it away to put the Asheville brand in front of a target audience from when they're very young. Football tops rarely get thrown away. In many years to come, you will see Asheville in countries all over the world. Football is a common ground where people from all walks of life can come together, enjoy and have a discussion. Even if you are not somebody who likes football, you can always appreciate a competitive sport where people are trying to win and share the highs and lows together. So when you're trying to do business with someone who you have nothing in common, inviting them to a football game opens communication, enables you to enjoy and build relationships. Everybody wants to do business with a company that is doing well. So showing the Asheville brand all over the stadium, I feel is a modest way to put the brand out there. Now, it's important to do it in a way which is not both because none of us know what tomorrow holds and we could find ourselves in not too long saying it was all good just a week ago. But I call it putting your best foot forward and working to your strengths. I may not be three generations in, um, I may not know what you know, but what I do know is branding, how to get your brand out there, search engine optimization, and how to get endorsements will put your brand to the relevant target audience. QPR are a company who reciprocate business with their business partners. So while we sponsor the home jersey, the away jersey, and the training jersey, we actually do the maintenance in the entire stadium and we take away all the rubbish from the stadium. The sponsorship deals that we do tend to run for two years. So what happens if QPR get relegated? Very unlikely or promoted, much more likely. Now, within the contract, there are release clauses. So the money obviously changes. If QPR go up, there'll be a significant difference in what we have to play yearly. The reason for this is at championship level, you'd say your exposure is national, but in the Premier League, it's definitely international and it's broadcast all over the world. So that's what you're paying for. Me personally, I'm not sure how much that would benefit Asheville because I'm not gonna go and deliver a skip, sell any concrete, or build any houses all the way in China or somewhere like that. So I feel in the championship is perfect for us. If QPR are promoted, we'll have to take a view and think about how we're gonna do it because we definitely can't afford front of shirt. And in the Premier League, there is no back of shirt. You're on the arm just here. So I'm not sure how much exposure that will be. If QPR were to get relegated, again, there's a release clause and the money you're paying is nearly halved. Speaking of the Premier League, it's reported that Chevrolet paid Manchester United 65 million pounds for the front of shirt sponsor. Obviously, Asheville can't afford that. But one thing that's important to remember, that 40% of sponsorship in the Premier League is now gambling companies. I spoke to QPR at length, and QPR, 
for ethical reasons, would prefer to not have a gambling company on the front of the home jersey. Obviously, there's a lot of children and a lot of families, and gambling isn't best place for them. QPR actually say they would take less money because of the ethical reason and the fact that betting companies are very volatile. A betting company can be seen to do extremely well one minute, the next minute they get taken over or they go into bankruptcy and the new people involved no longer want to sponsor the club and halfway through the season you have to take the sponsorship off the front of the shirt or put another sponsor on top of it and nobody wants to do that. Can you imagine being a fan or being a parent and you buy your child a football jersey and halfway through the season the sponsor change? It's not really fair for anyone. So QPR have decided that working with local companies like Asheville is a far better way to move forward. QPR Stadium holds 18,439 people. There are four games which are going to be broadcast on Sky so far this year. And that always changes. It depends on the jeopardy and how well QPR are doing or how well their opponents are doing. Previous front of shirt sponsors have been Guinness, KLM, Air Asia, JD Sports, Classic FM and Ericsson. Our journey with Queen's Park Rangers thus far started with us just being on the back of the shirt. Obviously, what you choose to do here is governed by your resource. So we were on the back of the shirt and we had a corporate box for the first season. In the second season, we then went on the front of the training wear. So we're on the front of the training wear and the back of the main playing jerseys. The reason I wanted to be on the training wear is because it has such exposure on the QPR social networks, because generally the players train a lot more than they play. We continued in this way for a few years, but I remember when I started, I said to you in the commercial director, I want to be on the front of the shirt within five years. Asheville have been with us since December 2017 fantastic partner. Daniel's wish was always to be in the front of shirt. He said it when we, when we started the relationship. For this season, you know, we've got there and it's been fantastically received by our supporters, the kit, the, the front of shirt partnership. So we're absolutely delighted with uh, what we're doing together this season. It was a bit ambitious and bold at the time, but we've managed to succeed. When we opened discussions with QPR, QPR let me onto the fact that the away kit they may be able to kind of turn it and swerve it that it resembled the Asheville colors. Then they showed me a mock-up of it. And then I went away and said to myself, I have to do whatever is necessary to be the front of shirt sponsor. And here we are. As we move on to the training wear, the players and the staff have two different kits. This year, it's like a blue and turquoise. Now, personally, I preferred last year's staff kit because it looked like a playing jersey. It was plain white and it had Asheville concrete along the front, but who am I to complain? We have the away jersey to celebrate. So what do Asheville get out of this? Well, the first thing, as I said before, we have our corporate box, which I have refurbished in Asheville colors. Then we have the static boards all around the stadium. And when the game is playing, we have the LED boards, which change. Now the LED boards you'll see are in a U shape. That is because the TV cameras are up there and the LED boards are only for TV coverage. Now we have static boards, other places all over the stadium. When you go onto the concourse at halftime to perhaps get a burger or a drink, there are televisions there. On those televisions, we also have advertisements running. On the main screen up here, we have an advert. We have two 
adverts in every program. We have signs in the training ground. A couple of times a year, QPR send out emails with Asheville information or to promote Asheville videos or any other competitions we're running to the entire QPR fan base. We have sponsored games, which means twice a year, I present the Man of the Match Award sponsored by Asheville to someone on the pitch or in the box, whichever I prefer. We have an allocation of signed memorabilia and we have access to the stadium to have tours at any time. And the corporate box I told you about, we can actually use that for meetings when there isn't a game. So that's ours to use anytime we like, as long as the stadium is open, which is Monday to Friday, 8 a.m. to 6 p.m. On all the media backdrops, Asheville has a presence. So at the end of the game, when the manager is talking, saying it's a game of two halves, or I haven't seen the incident as of yet, but the referee had a bad game, Asheville will be there. And also in the dugout, all of the headrests. Now the headrests in the dugout are a favorite for me. That is because when you're not playing so well, the camera is on the manager and it's on TV. When you are playing well, the camera is still on the manager and it gets a lot of exposure on TV. A lot of people send me screenshots from Sky Sports where people sit in the dugout and they're having an interview. This is great exposure and shows the brand to the masses. The entire time we are listed on the QPR website. So we are in the footer. Now, those of you who know about SEO, which is search engine optimization, the QPR is a website which is ranked relatively high. And with the link on that website the entire time, it helps our rankings for all our keywords. We have access to key people within the club. In the past, I have interviewed the likes of Sir Les Ferdinand, get it right, Sir. Any players which I would like to meet, it's always good to be able to have access to these people because you can make a difference in other people's lives. Had I had a friend or a godfather like myself when I was young with access to a football stadium and to be able to meet players like that, it would have brought a lot of joy into my life. So it's something I'm very happy to be able to have the resource and the ability to do that for others. Another thing that's really exciting for me is the LED boards. Obviously, I want QPR to score the entire time. Time. But when QPR do score and the Asheville LED board is on in the background, it is a double bonus for me. And for me, it's always a better goal. What you want, if you remember years ago, the goal scored by Trevor Sinclair, the overhead kick from outside the box. If he had scored that with an Asheville board in the background for the next 20 to 30 years, they would have played that and you would have had the brand exposure. So it's sort of like a lottery. So you want that key goal, that last second overhead kick from outside the box. You want that to happen when the Asheville boards are on or you just want a normal tap in when you get a one nil victory. Anyone who wants to help me, please record whenever you see QPR score a goal and Asheville is in the background or you can see one of the static boards. I always encourage people to do sponsorship. Now you haven't got to do it at this level. There are people like the likes of Chevrolet. I can't do it at their level. I do it at the resource which I have at that moment in time. But you can sponsor a small football club. You know, you could pay for kits. You could sponsor a child in your local area who has a talent for driving, he could grow up to be the next Lewis Hamilton. I always encourage these things and it gives you brand awareness on the ground that people see on a daily basis. My friend, Harrier Grabs, he sponsors his son's football team. So all the parents there, they see the sponsorship on the front of the top and then they tend to use him for all their waste management and utility work. The important question, does it generate business? Now, I cannot tell you that all the people in this stadium or all the QPR fans use Asheville for skips, concrete, waste management, or aggregates. But what I can tell you is that brand awareness has grown massively. As I said in the past, a lot of my competition are third generation, and I had to find a way to showcase the brand and I believe with this sponsorship, we have achieved it. Our sponsorship here has really opened doors. Uh, we've been invited to sit at some tables where previously companies may have thought that we're just a bunch of builders with a couple of lorries, but after seeing the sponsorship we're doing here, seeing our box, seeing our presence, people have invited us to sit at a table and have discussions which we previously may not have been able to have. I understand the game and business, and we've now been sponsoring QPR for five years, and I hope to continue this for many years to come. The kind of position that I've put ourselves in is if that we stop sponsoring QPR, people may start thinking that we've fallen off. <laughs>
or we can no longer afford to do it. So I've put myself in a bit position and luckily uh, we've been able to continue the sponsorship and continuously the brand has grown. And we are now in a position where we work with local businesses and the exposure that QPR gave to us to grow the brand, we're now giving that to other people in the local area. For instance, Chicken Kitchen, Morts and More, or any of my friends' businesses. So that is an insight into why we sponsor Queen's Park Rangers and the relationship that has built up over time between Queen's Park Rangers and Asheville. Hopefully we won't have any more lockdowns and we can bring you a lot more of the live games from the Asheville Hospitality Box. If you haven't done it already, please subscribe to QPR's channel and if you don't support QPR, make QPR your second team because we will be in the Premier League next season. Click here for the Asheville website. Click here to subscribe to our channel. Click here to see a video of us giving out hampers in this local area with QPR at Christmas and click here to see an interview with Sir Les Ferdinand. Now let's get inside and watch this game.